Hey guys, Jim Edwards here and welcome back to another episode of the Sales Copywriting and Content Marketing Hacks Podcast with Jim Edwards and Stu Smith, where we help people just like you go from blank screen to compelling content and money-making sales messages at the push of a button, at the whack of a button, whack no it. experience required. Yes, we've enjoyed whacking since about age 13. Um, so... Stu, Stu now, Stu's the producer of the podcast now, and I got fussed at earlier off camera um, <laughs> for actually trying to have any sense of control over this show at all. So I appreciate you reminding me who's really in charge, Stu. Not a problem, sir. And so today we actually, um, we had a question from a very loyal um, user of Jim and Stu Universe. Uh, Miss Sarah Pitt, shall I share my screen to show her question? Absolutely. Let's do that. Okay. And uh, so this is, she, she loves to use gifts and stuff. Um, this poor little puppy dog caught between a rock and a hard place. And she says, Jim, I'm following the product launch script in Funnel Scripts. It's actually the product launch recipe in Funnel Scripts. And was wondering which wizards would help me create the content for the four videos in the Jim Edwards Method Premium. I'm feeling a bit stuck and I'm sure I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Would help, would appreciate, would, oh my goodness, I can't even read. Any help would be greatly appreciated. So Stu said, you know what? Let's get her on the podcast, Jim. And I said, you know what? That'd be great. Let's walk her through it. That's right. So she's not here yet because Stu, want, we wanted to give kind of the, the background and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I, I think this would be a good one, you know, especially because we all come up with new ideas. We all have right. a product to launch. It's a book. It's a service. It's something new. And, you know, there, there's a recipe for that. And, sure. uh, and let's, um, let's kind of describe a little bit of what we're, we're going to walk her through. Okay, so the thing is that the product launch follows a specific recipe, uh, especially the way that Russell, so this is Funnel Scripts, and uh, this is one of the Funnel Scripts recipes where we show how to use a combination of scripts to get a specific result. So what, what this does, and I just filled it in like I was Stu, um, talking about mobility. Uh, actually, I'll change this to tactical fitness. And let's say he's doing his launch today, whatever the date is, okay? So the way this works is these work is that you can keep track of your progress, which is cool. So each time you do one of these things, like, okay, I read the five pages in the dot-com secrets book. I'll watch the full training on how to use this particular thing. And you see how that thing's going across the top. So it helps you um, track. So now the video number one is wow and how. So the purpose is to wow them with the big idea and show them how you and others are using whatever concept it is. So maybe you're talking about mobility. Um, and I know that um, Sarah, one of her big things is mobility. So she was asking about, you know, which script would I use to make a video for wow and how. And so if you look at this, the funnel scripts is going to help you to create the sales copy for this. Now, there are a couple of scripts inside of funnel scripts that you could use. You could use the epiphany bridge script to explain the, or the origin story to explain the wow and how of your own personal story. If you wanted to highlight somebody else, then you could use a case study, which a case study if done right is really a story of how someone has gotten results uh, as opposed to a testimonial, which is here are the results that I got. Does that make difference? A lot of people always ask. I mean, I know that's kind of an aside, but I figured I'd hit on that. Um, a lot of people ask, what's the difference between a case study and a testimonial? A case study is how I got the results, and the testimonial is here's how I here are the results I got, and that's why the product is awesome. That that's the difference, and I think it's important to understand that distinction. Um, yeah, I'd like I'd like to see the difference of those because th that's. That, that'd be a neat draw. I've never seen this one before. So. Well, we can do that. Let's do that on a different, on a different podcast. Oh yeah, absolutely. One day, but um, definitely we should make a note of let's explain the difference between a case study and a testimonial on a future podcast. Cause I think that's important. It's an important distinction. So this first one, okay. The video is basically all about I'm going to assume you've done all this stuff, but the video on this first one is wow and how big idea, show them how you and others are using this concept, whatever the concept is. So it's like tactical mobility. So 
if we come over here into the world of the Jim Edwards method and we come down here into content creation and here comes Sarah. So hang on one second, Sarah, I'll finish this thought and then we'll grab you. Um, what is the, what, what is the thing that, that you could use here? And to me, the easiest one is the FB live video one because this gives you all kinds of versatility. So in this case, you know, I'm making a video. What's my name? Sarah Pitts. Who's our target audience? Triathletes. My main topic is here. Here is the big concept, whatever it is, mobility and how you can change your life and improve and stuff. And then just, just use this one to create an amazing video that expounds upon the actual, um, uh, on, on the big idea that you're trying to get across. So now that Sarah is here, um, I'm gonna stop sharing real quick. And Sarah, give everybody, and welcome to the podcast, Sarah. Thank you. And so real quick, give everybody in 30 seconds or less, hopefully you use the what I do in one second wizard and tell us um, <laughs> what I do in one second. That was mean. What I do in one sentence. Tell everybody what you do real quick. Uh, I help athletes of all kinds to avoid injury using movement. Okay. Nice. You used to be called the wiggle lady, but then that got strange. And so now you have a program called what? Smart Club. Okay. And also you have your most motion. Yeah. Okay. Dot What's com. most motion? Uh, most motion is really the name that I'm trading under because it describes in a very short way what I do. I'm looking for the most motion that somebody can have at all times. Okay, cool. Yeah, most, most motion dot com. Check it out. Awesome. Okay, so we went through and I looked at the. Um, I, I reminded everybody, and I just I made one little quickie correction on something you asked. Um, there's there's not a well, not yet. There's going to be. But right now, there's not a funnel script for a specific product launch script, but there's a recipe. Mm -hmm. And so the recipe helps you lay out what the four videos are that you would want to make and then gives you links to specific scripts that you could use to create each one. So the purpose of the first video is wow and how this is basically to wow them with the big idea and show them how you and others are using this concept. Okay, so the, the, the parts aside about making the sales copy for the actual pages and stuff, if we're creating the video, if you're using funnel scripts, you'd want to use the epiphany bridge or you'd want to use the origin story script to talk about your experience and just how your life changed and, and to explain the big concept and what their appetite for what you're doing here in the big picture. In a lot of cases, I think that this is your best bet for this video right now, okay? Because your story, your, your epiphany bridge, what that's going to do is really explain why. Why Sarah? Why did Sarah decide to do this? Why did Sarah go on the journey? What was Sarah's journey? What happened to her? What, did, what caused her to want to help people? What is she seeing? You, you see what I mean? That's where you just get yeah. all the big stuff out of the way. Um, the difference between an epiphany bridge and an origin story epiphany bridge is based more around a decision or an event an origin story is more like a backstory um so the epiphany bridge might be based around um the point of high drama of you saw a champion triathlete pull up lame 500 meters from the finish line and saw him writhing in agony and said to yourself, you know what, there's gotta be a better way. And so that launched you on a, you, you see what I mean? That, that's an epiphany, you had an epiphany, whereas the origin story talking about, you know, mm -hmm. I was here, this is where I was, this is what I was doing, this is what led me to this moment. It, it's not like a specific event, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's more like a little history. So okay. then the other thing you can do, though, is use the case study script with a specific person, because sometimes it's one thing if I tell you what happens, what happened. It's another thing if I tell you about what happened 
with one of my students. And so we were talking about the difference between a case study and a testimonial. A case study is the story about how someone got results that others want. And a testimonial is basically here are the results I got because the product is awesome. So one is an end and the other one is a story. And so like with Stu, Stu was born a natural athlete, was gifted, was raised by Martians. Um, <laughs> he, he just was born to be a Navy SEAL. There are pictures of him with swim fins on at the age of five, and he could do a 50 meter underwater swim at the age of three without taking a breath. Okay. But when he's talking about fitness, it's one thing for him because he, he became a Navy SEAL. It's another thing to have case studies from guys, you know, I was a 17 year old and I weighed 120 pounds. I couldn't do a pull up or a push up. And within 18 months, I was 165 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. And I made it through buds on the first try. That's the kind of case study that that's a better story than Stu telling his own story because he came from a privileged background. Obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> And even if it's not true, it's like people just assume that you had it easy. But, right. you know, it's easy for you to do it, but it's another thing when you talk about somebody else. Agreed. So that's another option for that first video, okay? Now, you asked specifically, though, okay, inside of the Jim Edwards Method Premium, what could I use for that? And so my thing is that um, your, your fallback always is the FB Live video and podcast segment script wizard because this will help you to create a video for anything and be totally organized and, and good to go with it. Okay. So I would use this one and you know what, we may actually go through and use this in a second, Sarah, real quick. I mean, I think it'd be fun to use this. It would only take like, I bet it would only take 10 minutes. You and I'll probably fight about what you want to say because I want to <laughs> healthy and you'll be worried about governing bodies and Jim, that's not really that way, but we'll get past that. I, I get that, <laughs> past that with Stu too. Mm -hmm. um, so is that cool? Is all that make sense so far? Yes. Okay. So the transformational thing is this is where you let people look over your shoulder and walk them through or walk through the process with them and prove that it works. So again, this will help you to do what you need to do as far as sales copy and other stuff. But, but proving that it works, you're going to want to use the case study script. Now, you can use a case study for yourself. You can make yourself the case study. You can show, okay, here's where I was. That's why you see people using before and after pictures so much. Or they use bank statements or they use pictures of closing statements with real estate or things that just prove, hey, I, I produced this result. And this is really what this is about is showing them how you would produce a specific result. So a case study is great. However, again, you can come back here and use this to explain the steps in the process. Use this to explain how they're going to use whatever it is. And the neat thing about this is that it divides everything into threes. You never want to do more than three steps. You never want to explain more than three concepts in a video. You always want to summarize. Um, the, the other one that, that would work with this as well that you would want to try would be the instant tip um, wizard, the single juicy tip, or the, um, you could use the product review wizard. Okay. Or you could use the tool tip content wizard. Any of those things that kind of walk you through explaining how something works and how to get a result. So it would just depend on if you were trying to demo the product, then I would, I would actually try the tooltip content wizard um, and, and just experiment. But also what's going to happen is you see the pattern of really with any kind of demo is that when you're demoing something or explaining something, there's a process that you, you need to go through. And I've learned this the hard way over the years. And that is nobody really cares what it does, what they care about is the result that it produces. So you've heard the thing, don't tell me about the labor pains, just show me the baby. Nobody wants to see, how, everybody loves sausage. I know Stu does, but nobody wants to see how it's made. 
Yeah. Everybody loves bacon, but no one wants to see how bacon's made. Um, all of those types of things. So you don't want to spend a crap ton of time talking about how they get the result. You want to talk a lot about here's the result you can expect. So the way that you structure that, let me get my little redneck iPad. Am I going into too much detail here? No, I was going to ask, um, do I actually show them inside the membership? I would. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just checking. Um, yeah. I mean, I would, I would say, yeah, why not? So, but the cool thing, if we're talking about inside your membership and you say, okay, for example, let's say you have this problem. So thinking in terms of now using a wizard, using one of the things to, to, uh, and we'll, we'll do this, but as far as the actual demo itself, okay. First thing you want to do is hook them with the problem that you know that they have. Second thing is you want to hit them with the purpose of the product that you have created. Okay. And then number three, you want to hit them with the number one reason why it's easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the fourth thing you want to do is show them the result that they're going to get. Explain the result that they're going to get. Does that make sense? So yeah. it's, it's not where we'll get bogged down when you're making these videos, you're going to get bogged down in the how, because most of us do, because let me show you how we're going to fix this to you. Let me show you how, no, the how comes from the purchase of the product that you're launching. So okay. you hit them with the problem, you make the problem painful. Then you explain the purpose of the product that you are going to be bringing to them mm -hmm. and why it's easy and then emphasize the result. So for example, I'm just doing this top the top of my head, but let's say somebody has a really, a really bad problem with um, knee pain. All right. Mm -hmm. So do your knees hurt? Are your knees driving you nuts? Does it seem like every time you make progress with your training, all of a sudden your knee comes up um, and you know, knee, knee is the thing that's keeping you from, from making or from taking things to the next level. Well, here's the, here's a secret you may not know. Your knee pain is probably caused by something either in your hip flexor, your, your quad or your, um, or your calf. And I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it is. <laughs> okay. It's not. Whatever kind of. it is, you do, okay, kind of. That's why I haven't watched enough of your videos yet. Um, so the purpose of the Most Motion membership, the Most Motion Club, is to help you to diagnose your own or to, to, to take your problem and then instead of guessing, know exactly which exercises, which easy, which simple, don't say easy, which simple exercises are going to help you to overcome that pain and more importantly, help you prevent suffering from it in the future. So let me show you how easy it is to use the membership site. So all we do is come in here, we click on knee pain, and then it shows you, it walks you through this path. It's just like a slippery slide. Um, and the result is, you will not only get rid of your knee pain, or you can also not only, I don't know what you can legally say, but you can alleviate your, your knee pain. But again, the most important thing is to get yourself to the point where you don't ever have to suffer from this type of knee pain again. That would be the, the, that would be the kind of demo that I would do for the, for the information that you're talking about, because now you're showing them, wow, she's got a bunch of stuff. It's really well organized and I can pick and choose from the problems that I have. And then all I have to in their what you want going on in their mind is all I have to do is watch the video and it's going to solve my problem. Mm -hmm. Now we all know that that's not necessarily true in every case because they might have to watch the video and do something. But on the flip side, there are some videos that, you know, you might watch and say, oh, if I just stop doing that, then I'll stop having pain. Yay. So, you know, that's not frequent, but hope springs eternal. Does that make, <laughs> does 
sense whatsoever. Yes, thank you. Okay, so then let's look at the last couple of videos real quick. I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking here. Um, so the, la the second one is ownership experience. So get them to imagine what their life will be like when they commit to this program. So again, we're looking at some sort of a future pacing event here, some sort of, of something that will get them to, um, to imagine themselves as getting a result. So I'm looking over here on the right under content creation. And if you already had some content, you could sandwich it. But if you had content, you wouldn't really need to sandwich your own content. Um, can always come back to this one. This is, this is like your, your, your go-to one. I like um, that one. Yep. You could use the PowerPoint presentation wizard. But again, our purpose here is to get them to imagine their life. So we want to future pay some. You could interview... You could do a, a quick interview with, with a student. You could do a case study again, back to, you know, what, what was it like and what's your life like now? Um, but that's... Could you, do, could you do a comparison of uh, what the industry is teaching and why it doesn't work and then show them the alternative? You could, um, as long in my in my opinion though you should make sure that you really point out the fact that if the industry was right you wouldn't be having these problems mm -hmm. you could dispel some have, myths could right dispel some myths as well you know and show what science says mm -hmm. yeah. yeah versus reality or yeah. or any of that stuff but Again, you want them to imagine themselves using what you've got and getting the result. And the easiest way to imagine it is to use somebody else as a proxy, to have that case study of, of someone else uh, or you or, or demonstrating something okay. uh, for them. And then the last one is the actual offer, which again, the offer itself, me personally, I would use the um, instant sale. I mean, again, over here in Funnel Scripts, I would use the VSL wizard. I would use the new um, offer stack script mm -hmm. so that that can help you really come up with a crazy, cool, great offer. And over here inside of the Jim Edwards Method Premium, you could use instant sales uh, message wizard you could use well that would be basically the one that I would use okay. instant, instant sales video script sorry I got so many of these things but um, as far as the actual script I mean this is really isn't time for content this is time for knocking the thing out of the park what mm -hmm. you could use though is the product review wizard and mm -hmm you literally review your own product yeah. and use that framework to present the product in a review style format. Okay. That would be another, another option for that. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So what questions do you have at this point? Did that answer your question? Is that helpful or, or not? Uh, no, I don't have any questions and yes, it was very helpful. Thank you. So let, let's walk her through one. Let's just okay. pick one of those that we demonstrate or showed. And now let's uh, demonstrate uh, the actual walkthrough. And you fill in the blanks for us, Sarah, or we'll help you. Okay. Or I'll type, I'll type as you talk. So <clears throat> let's go back and we'll use the um, FB Live video and podcast segment script wizard. And let's pretend like we're doing, which, which one of the, of the videos do you want to pretend to do this for? Just the, the first one to explain the big, um, the big idea? Uh, no, I think I've got that one down, actually. Okay. Um, it, was, it was the second one I was struggling with, really. I was trying to make it too complicated by okay. explaining what was in the membership and that kind of thing. Okay. So let's... Um, <clears throat> 
Okay, let's do this with the intention of you're actually going to be walking people through the membership. So okay. um, you're making a video. Sarah Pitts. Who's our target audience? Uh, exercise enthusiasts. Wow. I like that. We've gone beyond triathletes now. <laughs> no, that's very smart. Okay. Exercise enthusiasts. And what's our main topic here? Is, is mobility or injury prevention or what? I can, I, this always gets me. I can never decide which one. Okay. How about mobility and injury prevention? Three uh, words. That's good. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Yeah. I love so it. So what's your, what's your target audience's big desire? My target audience really wants to... Train without pain. Train without pain. Holy mm. crap. You sound like Ron Popeil. The inside. The, it was, oh my God. You don't know who Ron Popeil is? <laughs> he invented everything from the pocket fisherman to the inside the egg scrambler to the showtime rotisserie of which I don't know what any of those things are either. So there you go. It's obviously a US thing. <laughs> he is a famous inventor and pitchman on TV. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what's the big payoff? You show them how to get in this video. I show my audience how to what? Uh, feel springy and free in their training. Mm. Eh. Okay. We'll try that. Feel spring, feel springy and free in your training. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the big pain, you'll show them how to avoid. I'll show you how to get that payoff. I'll show you how to feel springy and free in your training without having to like struggle Sac to overcome in injuries or something. Uh, sacrifice training time. There you go. Okay. Due to injuries. Yeah. Because I, I want to get the injury thing in there. Yeah. Okay. okay, so who or what is the enemy they face in this area? So the main thing holding people back in this area is outdated thinking or, or yeah. wrong thinking in the about exercise or what? I would say outdated rather than wrong, but yeah. Okay, outdated thinking and theories about exercise and recovery. Yeah. All right. Now, we probably don't know the title for this video right now, but let's leave it blank. And through the power of the Jim Edwards Method Premium, it <laughs> will suggest titles for you. You're going to share tips, secrets. What are you going to share? Questions, points, chunks, chapters, perspectives, outcomes, solutions, results, conclusions. What are you going to share? Uh, I'll say tips. Okay. And what would be the first three chunks? Now, this is where it helps to like break out this old thing known as a piece of paper. <laughs> because as you start doing this, if you've written down what you think the, the three chap, the three things that you want to cover on, what would be the three tips you'd want to cover in this thing real quick that you're going to want to cover in this video? What would be three tips you would give somebody that we can tie videos to, um, in your to help them feel springy and uh, avoid losing training time due to injury uh i don't know okay there's, there's so many going through my head right now i just you know when you get brain freeze and you can't really pick one okay so the first one i would say is that you need to incorporate mobility training yeah And maybe it might be that mobility training is not separate from training. It should be mm -hmm. integrated. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So we'll talk about that. Integrate mobility training with workouts. Okay. Uh, it shouldn't be painful. Okay. So workouts should not be painful. Nor should the mobility stuff. And it doesn't need to take forever. Okay. So the, the three that we're going to do are you need to integrate mobility into your training or integrate mobility training with your workouts. Mobility should not be painful and it doesn't have to take forever. Mm -hmm. Those are the three main points. That sounds cool. 
Stu, what do you think? You're muted, dude. Are you muted? <laughs> Sorry. My dogs are barking. My dogs are barking. <laughs> that's okay. No. Um, no, I loved all three. I, okay. I think that's that's perfect, especially, you know, when you're trying to avoid injury, avoid pain. That's yep. you, you gotta go with those three. Okay. So we'll say you want to integrate or no, we'll just do integrate mobility directly into your workouts. Okay, so what points do we want to cover in this certain circuit in this in this first chunk is that um, can I make some suggestions or do you want to just tell me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you go for it. Most people think of mobility as something separate. Mm -hmm. And again, this is just going to give you points that you're going to make a video, right? So these are your talking points. So most people think of mobility as separate, but it's not. What else would you say, want to say in that chunk? Sarah? Um, the Maybe. easiest place to put it is your warm up. Okay. Okay. And can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons why, you know, most motion, what's the name of your, what's the name of your uh, membership site? Most motion. No, it's smart club. Smart, smart club. With, smart with okay. two T's. So you could do a demo show all the different warm ups you have and how short and easy they are. Okay. Or show show the warm ups in the site and how fast and easy they are. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. So the title of our second I mean, is there anything else you'd want to cover in this first chunk? I would also I would close by saying obviously you don't do all of them, you choose one and keep it fun. Mm -hmm. Or the lady in the purple shirt will come find you and <laughs> beat you with a foam roller embedded with spikes. Uh, it's, all they, it's all they're good for, so. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get an East Coast, West Coast thing going here because <laughs> he, he swears by his foam roller. <laughs> um, okay, so mobility should not be painful. All right, so what do you want to talk about on that? Okay, so their body is predisposed to uh, move away from pain. Okay. And how about create... people? How about people confuse flexibility with mobility? I don't know if that's yep. something. That... Yep. Is that true? Extra, extra bullet. It is. Okay. That give you some, you know, moment to kind of discuss the difference, you know, to mm -hmm. little, little education content in there. You should also do the tea towel um, analogy. <laughs> Everybody loves that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And then what would you be able to um, <clears throat> show them in the membership? that helps them with mobility without it being painful? What else could you show them? Uh, pretty much any of the videos, to be honest. Um, okay, but thinking about, it's not about the video itself. It's about the result that they want. So in the first chunk, we were talking about um, integrating mobility directly into your workout. And so we showed them how you've got videos that are easy for them to integrate into their workout, especially if they're doing it in their, in their warm up. So mm -hmm. now we're talking about mobility should not be painful. So again, you can show any one in there, but what about the videos keeps them from pain? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So you, you yeah. want to point up either a video or, 
a part of a lesson where you show them and talk to them about the fact that they should never do something to the point where they feel like they're going to fall out. Um, should, should never, do, do you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying it the right way, but, but you want to reinforce to them that you're never going to make them do anything that's going to cause them to hurt themselves while trying to increase their mobility. Yeah. Um, so maybe what you do is you show, here, let me show the screen again. Again, this is, um, you know, this is totally up to you, but mm -hmm. you, you should show the wide range of, um, video topics, but stress how none of them are designed to cause pain okay and that you you insist that they only go to a certain level and then back off mm -hmm. because they get the results faster that way through repetition you get the results <clears throat> not pain Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So our third chunk was it doesn't have to take forever. Okay. What do you want to talk about here? Okay. So the, uh, the usual way of doing mobility is either foam rolling or stretching or both. That's only part of actually a four step process. Uh, and the movements inside the membership combine all that four step process into every single movement that we're doing. So any science that you can think of that might suggest that you do mobility in pieces is just slowing things down and actually we can speed that process up by creating movement. Yeah, it sounded real well. I didn't get any of those bullets, but it sounds like <laughs> you understand this one. Um, so science is rubbish. Nature is great. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, movement improvement's all about the whole of that four part series. And if you don't do those four parts, there's actually not much point in doing it at all. So you okay. get a temporary increase, but then if you don't do it again, you'll start to tighten up again. Okay. <laughs> what? I heard your chihuahua sneeze. Oh yeah, she's she's over in her bed. Just as the older she gets, the more weird noises she makes. I mean, she's <laughs> just oh, she just but she's my baby. Um, all right. So then, what would you do? What would you do with the video stuff in there? What would be the last thing you would show them? Um, I what might show them that part. I might show them the plan that has six minute videos on it. Okay. Um, nice. Yeah. And all, each one of those six minutes has the four steps. So you can do all four steps in six minutes. It's actually got more than that. Every movement's got the four steps in it and the, oh, nice. the six minute videos takes them further than that. And in the six minutes, they do both sides of the body. So you're actually doing everything in three minutes. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, mm -hmm. so maybe uh, a statement in as little as, you know, mm -hmm. you know, in as little as three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cause this one's all about saving time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have to take forever. Yeah. Now I will tell you having done a bunch of those six minute videos, it's a long ass six minutes. <laughs> um, yeah. but hey, that doesn't go into the sales copy. Um, <laughs> It's kind of like that five minute abs. Yeah, you can do it in five minutes, but it's a memorable five minutes, brother. Or like a five minute plank pose. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. That takes um, an eternity. <laughs> Get five minutes. It's like a breath hold. So, what are the what would be the the two to three most important things you wanted to take away from this video, Sarah? Um, 
I guess the way that it's been done in the past hasn't worked. Time to try something new. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Um, it's, it's not difficult. It doesn't take as long as you think. And the results are better than you can imagine. Okay. It is something special when you feel no pain. Yeah, no kidding. You know, when you're used to feeling pain and then all of a sudden you walk out of a mobility session, you're like, I don't hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we want to check out the smart club and I'm going to save this so we don't lose it. All right. Uh, I don't like that one. Top three questions. Nope. Uh, ooh, there you go. And injury prevention, an easy three step guide to train without pain. I like that. So we're going to copy that. We'll lock that in, but I'm just going to go ahead and dump that in here as your title. I mean, you, you can change it however you want. Um, but I, I think that's the one. Um, hey, you know, just what? You know more about this stuff than me, so. Nah, all I know, all I know is to come up with the first draft and then test the crap out of it. That that's all. It, that's all I've learned. It, 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 and as soon as I'm in love with something, it's a piece of crap, and the one that I think isn't going to work is the one that makes all the money. So all I've learned is to come up with drafts quickly and test, 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 and let the money-paying public to tell me which is what. Mm -hmm. So this would be like your video post. Hey, exercise enthusiasts, here's the secret you need to feel springy and free in your training so you can train without pain. So you don't have to sacrifice training time due to injuries. Drop nice. And watch this mobility and injury prevention video right now. Before I forget, my suggestion: you get all the details you need for how to easily train without pain at mostmotion.com. That's actually really good. And I would want to have that like as the text on the page with the video when you're okay. doing launch video stuff, that's actually really freaking good. That's right good there. sales copy. Yeah. Yeah. As Thanks. well as the script. So Beautiful. here's your video script, you know, Hey everybody, welcome to mobility and injury prevention, easy three step guide to train without pain. Sarah Pitts here with a new mobility and injury prevention video for every exercise enthusiast um, who wants to feel springy and did I have, it should have been singular and I did plural. My bad. Hmm. Um, all right, so uh, it's okay. I can fix it. I'll rewrite the whole thing just for you, Sarah. <laughs> uh, here's an mobility and injury prevention video for every exercise enthusiast who wants to feel spring and free in your training and train without pain and without having to sacrifice training time due to injuries. Here's what I mean. So tip one, I mean, boom, you're just busting this out. As I know you can, print it out and have it right there by your, by your uh, phone. Or oh, iPad. yes. Here's all your stuff. Here are the big takeaways from today's mobility and injury prevention video. I mean, boom, boom, boom. Pointers, you can feel spring in free in your training without having to sacrifice time due to energy. So, oh, before I forget, if you're serious about learning how to take this next level, drop what you're doing and check out the smart club at mostmotion.com. This makes it easy for you. And there you go. Okay. So with a product launch, would you have um, no. all that last bit? No? No, I wouldn't. If it was a product launch, then the thing is tune in tomorrow and you tease uh -huh. them with the next video. Okay. So tune in tomorrow and I'm going to share, um, we're going to, I'm going to, if you're going to do the transformational thing, I mean, if you're doing a, um, if you're doing a case study, I'm going to share with you a case study on how, you know, with somebody who went from fat to fit, someone who went from totally bound up and couldn't move, someone who was, you know, kept getting injured and losing time during the training, who was able to then not lose any time from training, was able to do whatever they wanted to do. So mm -hmm. you, you tease them with what's coming the next day. Okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So no, you wouldn't have this bit until the last day on the, when you actually do the product launch release thing. Does that okay. make sense with the yeah. offer? Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, that's right there with, with two knuckle draggers that don't 
know everything that you know about stuff. I mean, between the three of us, we were able to put together a nifty little script there that I think you could execute very well. Cool. Thank you. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or are you just saying that because it's like, oh, it's time to go. I, I think it, I no. think it turned out great. <laughs> no, that looks good. Looks real yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and what I'll do so we don't lose it, I'm going to actually, uh, I saved it, but I'm also going to output everything in a DOCX file, which I'll send you because you. then that way you'll have all the stuff right there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. So, there's your script. Man, that looks awesome. There you go. Cool. So cool. Well, I think we've, I, I would just, I would like to say, do you have any last words you'd like to say to everybody, Sarah, before we wrap up? No, just uh, thanks for the opportunity. It's really helpful. It's got me past a very big sticking point. Cool. And what would you say to other people who might be on the fence about funnel scripts or the Jim Edwards method premium? Just do it. Honestly, just do it. I didn't and I struggled. I, it took me three weeks to make one webinar and it's taken me, what, half an hour? to make a next one. So cool. Yeah. Yes. Nice work. Cool. Well, if you want to find out more about funnel scripts, go to funnel scripts.com. If you want to find out about more about the Jim Edwards method, you can go to the Jim Edwards method premium or, and if you want to find out more about what Stu Smith does, where the, should they go Stu? Stu Smith fitness.com. And Sarah, give us your one second. Did you use the one second wizard while we were on here? I saw you doing <laughs> stuff in the background. Were you using that? Give us, give no. us what you one second. Tell people where to go. Close us out. Do your best. <laughs> I can't do it when you put me on the spot like that. Yeah, you can do it. Oh. Where, uh, where do I go to if I have a bad knee and I, I, need, I need some help? It's, it's not like doctor bad. It's just achy. Where, where do I go? Uh, yeah, you can go to mostmotion.com. There you go. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, we're going to work on that. <laughs> Love you, Sarah. You're awesome. Thank you, Stu. Everybody have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.